Welcome to pre-math. Here is our math riddle and we are going to fill in these boxes with appropriate values so that when we add, subtract or multiply, we are supposed to get these value 2, 1, 14 and 5. And here's the very first step we are going to do. Let me go ahead and call these boxes, give them a name. I'm going to call this box A, this box B, this box C, and this box D. Let's focus at these two boxes, A plus B equals to 2. And here I wrote down A plus B equal to 2. And I am going to call this equation as number 1. And now let's look at these two boxes. B minus D equals to 14. So therefore I wrote down B minus D equal to 14. And I am going to call this equation number 2. And now let's focus at these two boxes. A times C. We are multiplying them equals to 5 and I wrote down a times c equal to 5 and I am going to call this equation number 3 and finally let's look at c times d we are multiplying them equals to 1 and here I wrote down c times d equals to 1 and I am going to call this equation number 4 now let's get started with finding the values of A, B, C and D and here is the very first step. Consider equation number 4 and here is our equation number 4 which is C times D equals to 1 and now I am going to solve for C so I am going to divide both sides by D so we can isolate C so D and D this one is gone so we can write C equals to 1 over D. Alright. And now in the next step we are going to put C equals to 1 over D value in this equation number 3 which is AC equal to 5. And here is our equation number 3 AC equal to 5. And we are going to replace C by 1 over D d so therefore this is going to become a times 1 over d equals to 5 or which could be written as a over d equals to 5 since we want to solve for a i am going to multiply both sides by d d on this side and d on this side so this way we can see that this D and D this is gone so we ended up with A equals to 5D and I have copied down this equation right up here and I am going to call this equation number 5 and in this next step we are going to subtract equation 2 from equation 1 and here are our, our equations 1 and 2. Let's go ahead and subtract this one. Since we are subtracting 2, we need to change the sign. This positive become negative, this negative become positive, and this positive 14 become negative. And as we can see that this positive b and negative b, they are gone. So we ended up with a plus d equals to negative 12. And we know that this A is equal to 5D from equation number 5. So I am going to replace A by 5D plus D equals to negative 12. On the left hand side that's going to give us 6D equals to negative 12. Let's divide both sides by 6. So D value turns out to be negative 2. So thus we figured out our D value which is negative 2 right up here. 
and now we are going to put d equals to this negative 2 value in this equation number 5. And here is our equation number 5. Let's replace d by negative 2. So a equals to 5 times negative 2. So that means a equals to negative 10 is our value. So thus our a value turns out to be negative 10. And now we are going to put d equals to negative 2 value in equation number 4 as well. And here I copy down equation 4, c d equal to 1. Let's go ahead and replace d by negative 2. So c times negative 2 equals to 1, which is going to give us negative 2c equals to 1. If we divide both sides by negative 2, that means our c value, this negative 2, negative 2 is gone. So c value turns out to be negative 1 over 2. So thus our c value turns out to be negative 1 over 2. And we are going to put in this box as well. And here it is our final step. Put a equals to negative 10 value in equation number 1. When we know our a value is negative 10 and our quest equation number 1 is a plus b equals to 2. And here is our equation number 1, a plus b equal to 2. And let's go ahead and replace a by negative 10. So I'm going to put down negative 10 plus b equals to 2. Let's move this negative 10 on the other side. So b equals to 2 plus 10. So our b value turns out to be positive 12. And here is our b value which turns out to be positive 12. And here are our a, b, c and d values. I have put it down nicely. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.